It's been so fun to watch you two, Dirks. I mean, we were circling around Nashville around the same time, and you'd be at Station Inn. Yeah. Playing to a yeah. few people before mm. they built an entire new city around right. Station Inn. <laughs> yeah. And now here you are on this tour. You're going to go all over the place. Yeah. One thing we did notice, Dirks, I think you picked it up this too. Is investigative is journalism. The, the hair. Can we just kind of take a, a journey? Can we take a journey through the hair? <laughs> Do you wow. have a favorite, Dirks? Oh I can go with 2007 that looks is blonde. Wild. Yeah. That must have been some stuff put in there. Some lemon or something. <laughs> some frosted, frosted, tips. frosted tips. Sun was, in. Yeah, a lot of that going on in the 2000s, the, the aughts. <laughs> Do you have but, a favorite? Uh, look or you, uh, you know what I have to say 2002 is looking good well thank you I got a dream team back there making me look good so <laughs> you've had the long hair for a while now Kelly. though you're riding that out it's yeah good look. it was COVID hair you yeah. through. I just haven't I haven't let go of the COVID hair yet but, or uh, the COVID, COVID beard the COVID beard a little bit there that's just probably more laziness than anything else but yeah <laughs> um, you know what you've just brought up COVID you wrote this during COVID yeah you were all together in Colorado with your family how do you think that affected the album Oh, it affected a lot. You know, the last time I had out was called The Mountain. I'd written that one in Colorado as well. So this is, you know, I, I was in Colorado, not for a lot of the writing, but for just COVID. I put my guitar in a case, didn't really pick it up much. I just had a lot of time with family, a lot of camping that's, that year, a lot of uh, outdoor adventure. It was really just kind of catching up on what I feel like I maybe lost, a lot of being touring so much. So I really knew that just as a, as a yeah. dad and a human being, as a husband. And uh, the re- record's really about kind of coming back to Nashville. Will, you just mentioned the station in. I'm actually playing the station in again on the first Tuesday of oh. the month now. So wow. it's like, that's it's a the first vocal album. This is like, uh. you know, gravel and gold. This idea, if you look at something from the wrong perspective, it looks like gravel. But if you kind of change your perception, you're like, that's yeah, actually, it's actually pretty good. And that's what Nashville's kind of been for me, just like coming back to Nashville and recognizing that there's a lot of, a lot of gold in Nashville. I've been there for 30 years and wanted to kind of get out. Uh, yeah. But it was great coming back and uh, just, you know, I, I love the city and I've, it's my home, you know. I've been there for since I love 1994. That. That's so cool. So I was just reading. You've been a member of the Grand Ole Opry for 18 years, wow. which is a long time, a huge honor for people who don't know. I didn't know <laughs> that you previously had been banned from the Grand Ole Opry. What's the story? Oh. You have to tell us the story. It's not as bad as it yeah. seems. No, no. Well, I just I, yeah, I I worked next door at the Nashville Network, which was CMT, Country Music Television, had an office right next door, and I was working on over there. And you could go over the Opry night you wanted. You just sign a sheet. You can go over there and see all the Opry stars, the new stars, the young stars. And um, I, I came around, it got to the point where the, the manager at the time, Pete Fisher, said, we love Dirks, he's great, but he can't come every weekend to the Opry. So he kind of, it can only come like once a month. It's not really so. a ban. So ban no. is too strong. Well, I, I had to get the ultimate backstage pass, which is the membership. Now I can go whenever I want. I'm actually going to be there this Wednesday for my friend Jason Carter. Oh, cool. Is making his debut, and then we're playing this weekend for a whole like hour set on the Opry. So oh, it's a great So place. you started as a journalist. I, I did. I was in a... You know, I just was scrounging for any job I could get. I was working, I worked for a temping organization, you know, pouring coffee all over town, and I really needed to find a real job at some point. So I was able to find a job working in country music uh, in the daytime, so I, so I felt like I was working on my career, my yeah. goals, learning about the history of the music, and, get, and but then I was playing gigs at night and, and doing songwriter stuff. So it was kind of, it was a great gig. It really helped me, like, kind of stay in country music and also makes some So, money. Dirk, tell us about the tour real quick. We're going to hear some yeah. music from yeah. you in just a minute, but you're back out yeah. there, big, big shows, tour. Yeah, crowds. It's, it's going to be a great tour. I mean, 21 was great. People are glad to get out. You know, 22 felt pretty good. I think 23, people are really feeling yes. it. And yeah. uh, we got a big tour announcement coming up in this week. One of my best friends is going out there with us. We have a bunch of acts that are going to be in the, the beginning of the night. So it's a lot of... It's just fun. It's going to be fun. I always pick people I want to tour with and have fun yeah. with, but just so happens the guy I'm touring with is pretty hot right now, so it's mm. announcing you this week. Oh, I was going to say, tease. can you tell us? Uh, yeah. Off camera. Off camera. Yeah. Yes. Well, but, uh, we're excited you're third. back, and yeah. this album is incredible. Thank you. Dirks yeah. is sticking around. As I said, he's going to sing his new song, new Same band. Old Me. I know. We've got, <laughs> you. We've got you here all morning. The doors are locked. We're going to hear from Dirks a little bit later in the show. <laughs> 